train us to run their errands. Kill their enemies and kill each other. Hi, Chris. How are you doing today? I'm very well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. This is Zeba Khan from Vion, India. Um, I basically wanted to start with, um, of course, we've, as we've seen the film and uh, uh, I wanted to understand who is James Harper for you? What are his insecurities, his strengths? What makes or breaks him? Um, I was really interested in this film uh, the first time I read it. On, on the page, it's a pretty simple story. It doesn't redefine the, the genre all that much. It's a really well-told story. Uh, but what made it fascinating and very complex for me is that it had, uh, it spoke a lot about what it meant to be an American military man. Um, it's uh, very much a character study wrapped in the action thriller. Uh, I was motivated because I, I read uh, um, Yuval Harari's book, Sapiens, and the big takeaway I had from that is how much the human being is defined by uh, narratives that we tell ourselves, fictions that we tell ourselves, fictions that we tell ourselves to live by, how we structure our lives. So I found James Harper to be someone who is very rigidly constructed by these narratives of uh, country, duty, honor, um, democracy, noble values, freedom. And so uh, as that is stripped away from him, um, I, I was curious and was fascinated by what it meant to be stripped of all of these stories that you've uh, used to live your life and what is left and what is left is something very uh, just primal which is uh, survival and his family and those two are um, exigent realities that have no political implications they have no stories they have it's deeply felt blood uh, lineage you know that you're loved in the film and there are so many ups and downs right. uh, like your character is loved in the film right so right. you you but you fall out of favor and right. uh, you're no longer a part of the US Army also but then you pick yourself up and right. then you do good for yourself right. so right. Um, in, in in real life uh, when you face such tricky situations yeah. how do you how do you deal with it I guess my world <laughs> my worldview can be um, distilled down into I think life is about chaos and structure um, the human being is is desperate for structure yet we live in an entropic crazy world of seeming chaos so some people love the chaos and some people like the rigidity of structure and I think you know I guess it's like a Taoist mentality it's like I, I feel I strive for the middle path you know have a foot in each but never get beholden to, to either so if you know if you've tried to structure something in a certain way to get a certain result and it doesn't go your way, you know, you can bemoan it for a second, just try to find your way back and water off a duck's back or be like water or any of those, you know, good aphorisms to live by. I'm going home.